You're listening to Side Hustle Pro, the podcast that teaches you to build and grow your side hustle from passion project to profitable business. And I'm your host, Nikayla Matthews Okome. So let's get started. Hey guys, it's Nikayla, and I am back with another oldie but goodie. And this episode is where I broke down how to side hustle in one hour a day. Now, what I love about this episode is that this was my process. This was how I used to get it all done when I was a certified side hustler while working at NPR. Now, a lot has changed since then. Obviously, you probably hear it in the background. I have a whole baby (laughs) and I'm no longer able to go about life the way I used to. But (laughs) I really hope that this is still helpful for those of you who are out there who are side hustling and know that this process is one I default to and go back to time and time again because let's face it an hour is the most time I can get some days if I'm lucky and this is how I get it done so enjoy this oldie but goodie and I will talk to you next week How's it going? Um, I myself am drinking a glass of wine. That's the first for me while I'm recording, but I'm just feeling really relaxed. It's a little over a week until October 2017, and I am just so ready to face this last quarter of the year. I have some big goals planned. I'm really excited about it. And I'm also still in disbelief that it's almost the last quarter of the year. And that's because up until this year, the last quarter of every year always felt like the most stressful time for me. And, you know, that's just basically because I would literally save everything until the last minute. And then I would be looking around at all these goals I said I was going to accomplish that year and suddenly try to scramble to accomplish them all, which was always a big fail. (laughs) And this year is the first year that that's just not the case for me. I've managed to pace myself throughout this year by being really good about focusing on specific goals only for 12 weeks at a time. So now that I'm headed into October, I'm focused on my mission for the next 12 weeks and I don't feel overwhelmed because I'm not rolling anything over from the summer or from any other period this year. I just got better at getting ish done and getting ish done under pressure. I think the wedding planning period definitely made me better at zeroing in on what had to get done and prioritizing accordingly. So let's be very clear, though. I'm not saying I'm some perfect person. I'm not saying I didn't have bumps along the way or bad days, bad weeks. But what I do know is that if I say I'm going to do something, then it's going to get done. And if I say something is a goal, it's definitely going to get done because I don't take that word lightly. And I'm serious about my goals. Some of you also will remember from episode 42, where I talk about my 12 week sprint process and I shared my updates in that episode. And I even shared a bonus worksheet with you all. Now, this episode is going to build on that and give you an opportunity to take it one step further. I'm going to teach you my system for running my side hustle in one hour a day. And the reason I'm doing this is because some of you have reached out to me or I actually know some of you in real life. So you've asked me, how do you do it all? And like, you're back in action. What? Didn't you just get married? You're like, girl, do you sleep? And my answer is, yes, I'm back in action. Yes, I do sleep. And very well, as a matter of fact. But what your questions and comments made me realize is that even though you may have downloaded that worksheet, Some of you still struggle to get things accomplished, and that's no knock. Like, we've all been there. It can be a struggle juggling your day job and your side hustle and making progress on your side hustle. So after thinking back through my own process and journey to becoming an action-oriented person, I now have a better understanding of why some people struggle with running their side hustle. Like, I really took inventory of my own bumps and was able to see where I stumbled and why I stumbled. I've been able to streamline, make mistakes, learn what works and what doesn't work from just doing my own three different sprints this year. So in this episode... I'm going to address all of that and help you to quit stalling and make moves on your side hustle, make progress. Now, full transparency, this episode can only cover so much. So if you want to actually see my system 
in action and get the tools to replicate my process, I've created a cheat code called the Goal Getter Action Plan, and that is available for sale at sidehustlepro.co slash goal getter. I'll give you more details on that at the end of the show. So listen through to the end to get more info, plus an early bird discount code to snag this program for just $27. First things first that I want to touch on before I get into how to run your side hustle in one hour a day are the common mistakes when trying to run a side hustle. These are mistakes that hinder us and make us all less productive. And I know this is true because I have made all of these mistakes myself. And you will probably relate to a few of these, if not all of them, on some level. The first mistake is setting your goals too broad. I used to do this because I thought it meant I wasn't limiting myself. And, you know, they say the sky, well, Biggie says sky's the limit. So I was just trying to make sure that I wasn't thinking small. And I really love the quote, create the highest, grandest vision for your life because you become what you believe. If you go to my personal website, you will see that quote. I think Oprah said it because I truly do love it. It really inspires me. At the same time, I was taking that quote a little too literally. So setting a high and grand vision for your life is cool and all, but you don't become things just by believing them. You become things by believing them and acting on them. And to act on them, you got to break them up into measurable actions. And this is actually the fun part for me because when I break my goals up into little steps, I get to reward myself for those steps. And, you know, you get to feel good about yourself for actually knocking down a task and getting closer to the finish line. So broad goals, super intimidating, Break that bad boy down into measurable actions and you will see and achieve so much more. The next mistake we all make is not knowing which aspects of our businesses to work on when. Oh my gosh, we're all guilty of this. And I see so many people who come to me with questions or even post in the Side Hustle Pro community. And I know this is a function of just not knowing what to focus on first. I wasted a whole lot of time worrying about the wrong things in my business. For example, if you don't have a product or a, you know, sample product, quit worrying about a logo and a website. Unless you are pre-selling and using the website to test a concept, that's the only reason to worry about a website before you get your product and service nailed down. Another mistake is worrying about people stealing your idea and needing to protect everything. Oh my gosh, this is the number one, right? Everyone's like, oh, I have the best idea ever. I think though someone's going to steal it, I have to make sure I trademark it before I even release it to the world. Girl, (laughs) if you haven't generated customer interest or seen any demand in this area or see the prospect of selling, then do not worry about paying for a trademark yet because number one, trademarks are expensive. And because chances are you could very well abandon your side idea at the end of the line if it turns out to not be something that can generate income. So just take some time, explore your idea a little bit more before you try to incorporate. Do not incorporate when you're still exploring. Stop wasting your time and coins, please, 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 please. Now, in the Goal Getter Action Plan, I do break down what you should be focusing on in your business when. So if you're thinking, well, darn it, Kayla, like I have no idea what to focus on, then check out sidehustlepro.co slash goal getter for more guidance there. Another mistake is giving yourself too much time to accomplish your goals. Lordy, lordy, lordy. This was my number one area that I struggled with because you have to act with a sense of urgency. Like you will not start to see results until you start acting with a sense of urgency. The way I break down my goals now, every task I put on my daily agenda is achievable that day. And if for any reason, you know, life and work can be unpredictable, So if for any reason it spills over into the next day, then I still know and I still make sure it's achievable that week. Do not give yourself leeway to be dragging out your goals. Do not give yourself leeway to be having your goals spill over day after day after day. No, 
act on it. All righty. Because this shows you that if you can't act on your goals, then how serious are you? And you need to set goals that are actually achievable. Otherwise, you won't keep having this temptation to procrastinate on it and to push it off. Because if procrastinating, if that's a temptation and the temptation to put it off keeps coming up, there's probably something that you can break down even more about that goal. Yet another mistake is comparing yourself to someone else much further along than you. I would say this is the second thing I struggled with. Podcasts have been around way before I launched Side Hustle Pro. So of course, you know, you look at industry benchmarks and you start to get intimidated by that. And you have to know that even though what you're doing doesn't measure up to what they, you know, the infamous they are doing or or what you want to be doing, Stop stalling on that first step. Just do it. You know, you have to start where you are and be willing to improve later on. So again, I compared myself to people with better uh, podcast audiences, better reach. I compared myself to people with better sales pages. I compare myself to friggin' NPR podcasts. I mean, I'm, I'm surrounded by that daily, right? But if I waited until Side Hustle Pro could sound like how I built this, do you think I would ever get started or record another episode? it again? No. So as it stands, my studio is still in my bedroom, on my bedroom desk, surrounded by my couch cushions. So for every episode, I got to pull off the cushions from the couch, set up my little studio in my bedroom. And if y'all want to see a photo of this, by the way, I will post the photo in the Side Hustle Pro Facebook group if y'all are interested. And anyway, the moral of the story is I'm still making it work. And so yes, It's inevitable you will compare yourself to people, but don't let that stop you from taking the first step. Because when you don't, you deprive yourself of the opportunity to get better as you go. Hey guys, it's Nikayla here with a quick word from our sponsors. If you are thinking of starting your very own e-commerce or entrepreneurial journey, then Amazon FBA is a great option for you. Amazon FBA is a program that Amazon started where they lend their entire fulfillment network to their sellers. That means they pick, they pack, and they ship your products, handle returns, and customer service, all of the hard stuff. And Amazon FBA is for anyone. If you want to make some extra vacation money, some extra side hustle money, whatever you want to do. And to learn how to get into it, Helium 10 is an all-in-one software tool for entrepreneurs to help them start, build, and grow a business on Amazon. Helium 10 has served over 1 million users worldwide. It tracks over 2 million products on Amazon, and it has over 30 tools to help you research, start, and manage your business on Amazon. So learn the right way to sell on Amazon from the start and get the number one A through Z Amazon seller course to help jumpstart your business. So start your own journey and build your business on Amazon today with Helium 10. Helium 10 is a must have and Side Hustle Pro listeners, of course, have a special offer. So Side Hustle Pro listeners, you get 50% off your first month of Helium 10 Platinum when you go to helium10.com and use code HUSTLEPRO at checkout. Again, you get 50% off your first month. Just go to helium10.com and use code HUSTLEPRO. The final thing I want to address, and I don't know if I can classify this as a mistake, but it's when the stakes aren't high enough. It's when you don't have a why for your side hustle. And look, if you're just side hustling to pass the time and it's a hobby, it makes you feel good. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's good that you have something that keeps you going or brings in a little extra coins, but the stakes aren't high enough in that case. So chances are you will procrastinate. You will take it for granted. You will, you know, put off things because there's not a big enough why for you. But when you know, for instance, that you're growing your side hustle and you're growing it because that's what will allow you to reach some new height or you're doing it because it will allow you to achieve your goal, whether that's freedom from corporate America or whether that's paying off some debt, whatever it is, when the stakes are high enough, you'll do anything to get there. And that is when you know that you're ready to not only take action, but that's when you will see results. 
So what I wish for all of you is to drill down on your why to keep you going on the days you're tempted to quit or take your side hustle for granted. And again, the days that you can't devote one hour to your side hustle, I want you to look back on your why. Write it down if you need to, you know, imagine the life that you want to be living and keep that top of mind. This year, Moyo and I made a vision board. Neither of us have ever made vision boards. I've always attempted to do it, but mm, wasn't my thing, right? And this year we sat down and we made one. We went to Target, we got a cork board, cut up magazines and everything. And we put that vision board together to visualize our life together and what we want it to look like in the future, in the immediate future. And so it's on our bedroom wall and it's the first thing I see when I wake up in the morning. And that is my why. That is my daily reminder. Those words, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to have that and to do what you need to do to remind yourself of that daily. So now that we know common mistakes, reasons that things are holding you back and you're not getting as far as you want to, let's get into how to run a side hustle in one hour per day. The first thing you need to do is write down every single task you think you need to accomplish in your business. So you're going to write down everything that comes to mind when it comes to what you want to do for your side hustle. So from the most immediate like testing out your product or service, getting customers, putting up your social media pages to further down the line, like hosting an event or something else that, you know, requires way more work. Then on a separate page, I want you to write down the word immediate. And under that, you're going to identify your top three goals for the next three months. Now, here is where you have to get really, really specific. Remember, a goal is something you can measure it's not a wish. It's not a one day dream. It's not a hope. It's measurable. And to help me with this task personally, I tend to break up my months into themes or projects. And that just helps me zero in on my goals. So one month I'll focus on something like online products. And one month I might focus on gaining more sponsorships. And this all helps me to just isolate my goals for the month. And that in turn helps me to isolate my tasks, which we'll talk about in this next step. So once you have your immediate goals identified for each goal, write down four to five action items per month that will help you move the needle to accomplish this goal. Remember, you're going to keep it as no more than four to five. <laughs> this gives you time to focus on one action item a week. We're only spending one hour a day on this. So this is why this is so important to zero in, get granular and write down no more than four or five. You have to spread it out across the weeks. Speaking of that, your next step will be to decide which action item you will focus on each week of each month. The order you do each action item in will depend on what your individual priority goal for the month is. Next Set aside a minimum, a minimum of seven hours per week. You can do more if you want to, but you can get so much done in just seven hours a week. So one hour per day to work on those action items. That means you should open up your calendar and schedule in the hour, literally schedule it in the hour you will work on each action item each day. And I want to emphasize the each day part. Do something every day. Spread out one hour per day. I know that some of you might be thinking, well, I can just do three and a half hours on Saturday and Sundays. And I really caution against this. Why? Because working on your side hustle daily, it just builds the habit and the mindset that this is important. This is just as important as everything else I have going on in my life. And it ensures that if you're, you know, throwing a surprise, an emergency pops up on the weekend, then that doesn't derail your progress because you've worked on it throughout the week. Your final step is to hold yourself accountable with your daily tracking. This is going to be the most important part. You'll be surprised how easily you can let something slip. You can even forget when you're building a new habit, you might just genuinely forget to do what you said you were going to do. So hold yourself accountable with daily tracking. This can be done anywhere from a blank notebook to on your calendar itself to your notes app or even a spreadsheet, Google Sheet. 
whatever is most natural for you to keep a running tally of if you checked off the action item for that week, for that day. I'm going to give you my own example of this process and how I do a typical month. So for the month of September, my goal has been to gain new sponsorships and affiliate opportunities for Side Hustle Pro. So that was my overall goal. My priority action item tasks were, you know, number one, refine my media kit. Number two, develop new sponsorship packages. Number three, reach out to 10 new sponsors per day. Number four, reach out to 10 guests and do batch interviews for September through October episodes. Number five, secure sponsors and record new sponsor messages. As a result of honing in on the theme of sponsorships for September, So that literally means anything that wasn't related to sponsorships is pushed to the side for this month because that is not my goal. So a part of getting serious about your goals and moving the needle on your side business each month will mean that you have to let go of everything else that's not related to the goal. And you have to be okay with that. You have to know that you're going to get to those. But for right now, you're focusing in on this major goal. So as a result of honing in on the theme of sponsorships for September, Guess who just closed her fourth sponsor for Side Hustle Pro? This girl. And mind you, this is without a publicist, without an advertising agency, or without an executive assistant. This is just Nikayla Comey slaying her goal getter action plan each and every day. If you follow me on IG, you know I scout out different places to squeeze in my hour after work so you see how I get it done. That is another thing with your goals. Not only should you figure out when you're going to schedule in your goal, but also figure out your where, because it's really critical that wherever you do your work, you'll be able to focus completely on that thing. So whether it's on your lunch hour, taking a step away from the office or in the morning before you get ready or after work, going to a cafe like I do, think about and schedule in the location as well as the time. So overall, I know that my one hour per day system sounds all too simple, right? Easy peasy. But um, there's really nothing wrong with simple. It's actually amazing to me what happens when you just do the simple, straightforward things. And as a matter of fact, sometimes things are so simple that we end up not doing them. It's like losing weight. Everyone knows you're supposed to eat right and work out multiple times a week. But does everyone do it? No. So same thing with my tips. They are proven to work but only if you take action on them. Here's a reminder of, in total, just a glimpse of what I've been able to accomplish in running my side hustle this year. And you guys, I don't say this to brag. I don't say this to show off. I say this to show you how this system has helped to bring order and results to my life. So I've been able to open my LLC, open my bank account, revise my pitch deck and media kit, pitch and secure my first four sponsors, land amazing guests like Lisa Price and Miley Teal, plan a two-day 350 guest wedding, (laughs) and get married to my amazing husband, grow my Instagram following to over 34,000, take a mini moon, then get right back on track with my schedule, lose a whole dress size, get featured in Mashable and other publications, and even more without missing a beat. It's like Kim Lewis of Curl Mix said on a recent episode, if you can't run a side hustle, then you can't run a business. And I've been able to do this because I have a system now, a process that allows me to execute like I never did before. And I want you guys to execute too. So if you're okay doing it on your own with the outline I shared, cool, that's great. But if you want to take it to the next level and if you have goals that you want to meet before this year, 2017 is over, then I do encourage you to check out the Goal Getter Action Plan. And here's what's included in that plan. Number one, an in-depth video training covering the 12-week Goal Getter system to set and slay your goals with me month after month. A complete goal-defining roadmap and goal-to-action worksheet to help you set your monthly goals weekly action plans, and to hold yourself accountable. 
Also, a business goal blueprint to map out which aspect of your business you should be working on when. And finally, productivity toolkit, a comprehensive resource list of 30 productivity tools and strategies to keep you on task and help you kick procrastination to the curb, y'all. So check it out. You can purchase the Goal Getter Action Plan for just $27 with code HUSTLE. So head over to sidehustlepro.co slash goal getter to snag your own goal getter action plan and enter code hustle to get the $27 price. Alrighty, guys, I look forward to killing our goals together. Hey guys, thanks for listening to Side Hustle Pro. If you like the show, be sure to subscribe, rate, and review on Apple Podcasts. It helps other side hustlers just like you to find the show. And if you want to hear more from me, you can follow me on Instagram at Side Hustle Pro. Plus, sign up for my six bullet Saturday newsletter at sidehustlepro.co slash newsletter. When you sign up, you will receive weekly nuggets from me, including what I'm up to, personal lessons, and my business tip of the week. Again, that's sidehustlepro.co slash newsletter to sign up. Talk to you soon.